All right, hey guys, welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> there is literal chaos going on right now, but go ahead and subscribe, comment below. Let me know you guys subscribe so I can comment back and interact with you guys. I love it when you guys comment and we have conversations. You guys have been popping off on my last couple comment sections. But this, unfortunately, is going to be one of the last videos that I will be making with Katie. Sad day. I know, because we officially won't be living together as of a couple, we'll see. I'll actually <laughs> announce that in another video, because I'm going to be putting out some moving vlogs probably this coming week. Oh, Bentley's Hi. on one today. He's like, oh, it's her turn for the video? <laughs> now he wants to go here. insane. I know, you were just fine, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> Can you take Sabotage. This, this is sabotage. <laughs> But today we are gonna do part two of the roommate Q&A. Um, you guys loved the first one. Um, let's just get into it. Let's see, and I haven't read her any of these questions, so she doesn't know what we're gonna ask. All right, so we'll just jump right into it. The first one, they just go right in. Worst date experience. I'll let you go first. <laughs> um, let's see. I feel like this one, like I always think about every time I go out on a date, but like it's more so of like a pet peeve for me when it happens and it happened on a date and I was just like immediately like it was a turn off. Um, but if you're on like a first date or like new, newly dating someone and they order your food for you. <laughs> Didn't, I feel like they answered this in the last one. Did we? I don't know, but I feel like that always comes to mind. Yeah. Maybe we answered like pet peeves or something. Some, yes, yes, yes. But this this was just like for me, I was like, no, it's not it. It's it's not for me. I don't know. I like unless like I'm dating someone and they like know me really well and I like tell them like, yeah, order this mm -hmm. for me. I'm very much like, uh, sorry about Bentley. I can order <laughs> my own food at the dinner table. I don't know. That's that's just how I look You mean at it. you can think for yourself? That's weird. Oh, who would have thought? That is weird. <laughs> for me, honestly, the guy just wasn't getting a hint and like wouldn't leave and it was really awkward. I'm like, how do I get this person out of my house? I think I did talk about this actually in the last QA, so I won't go into in depth, but just leave. I literally had to leave my house to pretend to get coffee or something to get them to leave. That and then like, what else? I feel like I have more, but I'll have to like actually sit there and think about it. <laughs> I didn't date too much. I'm like kind of a one man type of girl, so <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm like, well, I've been single for four years, so. Yeah, it's not been it's a too different long. Story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just jump into the next one. We'll go into maybe dating on the podcast that mm. we kind of been hinting at for you guys, which by the way, yes. give us some name ideas because we have no idea. Yes, someone please help us out. Do you guys snore? I don't think that I do unless maybe I'm sick. I don't. Bentley I snores. <laughs> Cause I use my little sleep app every night and it'll like record it, but I don't snore, Bentley snores. Mm -hmm. It's funny though, cause it picks it up. And he's like all the way on the other side of the room. Yeah, and thank God that we don't snore because I really like, I cannot sleep like, I guess I feel bad for saying it, but like I cannot do it with somebody that snores, like sharing a room with someone. It drives me crazy because I cannot fall asleep. If I'm already asleep, fine, but like I'm usually the last person to fall asleep, so I just, I can't do it. Luckily, Charlie doesn't really snore, like, and if he does, it's like very little, and then I'll just kick him and he stops. <laughs> but it's a little love tap. Yeah. Next question Best and worst thing about living by the beach? Honestly, no AC is the worst yes, thing. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it gets so hot. But luckily, we have these like little AC units. I think mean, it just gets humid too. Yeah, like, it's and like it's sticky. sticky air. Yeah, <laughs> it's sticky air. But I mean, there's not too many negatives. We don't have yeah. to really drive anywhere if we don't want to. We can take bikes. That's like the best thing is we can take our e-bikes out and go wherever we need to go and not have to deal with parking. 
Like yeah. the 4th of July, we literally rode our bikes to Newport. Yeah, I was like, we're not going to mm. deal with parking anywhere. So we took the bikes out and honestly, like, I don't know. It's like a luxury to have, obviously, mm -hmm. that option instead of like having to take a car or like Uber or something. Somewhere. Exactly. Just not having to sit in traffic. Fine parking. Honestly, beach parking is the worst thing ever. It's expensive too. Oh, yeah. And, and then, especially if you want to go like multiple days in a row, it adds up. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best thing. Just not having to drive and deal with that. Yeah, it is nice. What do you miss about living at home? Ooh, not paying rent. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I miss yeah. that. <laughs> that's really wow. the only thing that I miss is not having to pay bills. Like adult, that's the one negative thing. Okay, one of a few negative things about being an adult, I guess, but I really- I also, I think I miss like more so lately, like just being able to like, you know, see my mom and like have those like quick five minute conversations and like catch yeah. up mm -hmm. because now it's like, I, I'll always like FaceTime her or call her, but you know, it's just not the same. Like, and yeah. also like when you think about it, it's like truly, when are you ever going to like live at home with your parents again? Like, especially after you're like grown and moved out, like yeah. probably never, like there's those times where, you know, sometimes you have to move back home, but like realistically, like that's the last time like you ever get to live with them so unless they get old and then they have to live in your basement or something <laughs> but then still that's even like a different experience <laughs> yeah, no. than like living with them when you're younger I don't even think we have basements here in California no, really I but I don't think so I don't think that's like a California thing I'm sorry mom and dad I know you watch these you're going in a home <laughs> you're going in a home <laughs> it's probably for the best <laughs> no I don't know maybe though we'll see <laughs> uh, let's see First impressions of each other. I think I it, think we answered this one. Similar, but like, yeah. I don't even really remember. She was the girl that didn't show up to class <laughs> and got a better grade with me, and I'm still bitter about it. You had not really. Didn't you have past. pink hair when you were in college, or was that after? No. I just remember your Instagram I profile think, photo being the pink hair. For I think like I had ever. it before we met. I think I had like kind of normal color hair when we met, like blonde. I think it was the same like as your hair color right now. My hair color always changes, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like my first impression was like when I saw your car. Cause like, I was like, oh, this girl like makes money. Like she has a nice <laughs> car. Cause I was still at that point. I don't think where I was like doing YouTube full time yet. Maybe I was. No, I don't think, no, I wasn't. Cause I was no, not for my dad's, yeah. no. So I was like at that point where I was still like a very broke, like college kid living at home with like my Jetta, which like I had bought for myself. So obviously I was like very proud of that, but I was like, dang, she has a really nice car. Like, I want to, like, make more money and, like, you know, have a really nice car. But obviously, it's like, that kind of now. stuff doesn't matter. But no, yeah. And I had just sold my Jeep. I had, like, a 2005, like, Jeep Grand Cherokee. It was nice, but, like, it was an older. Like, I never really had, like, a new car. I had, like, a lease of a Kia Forte at some point in my life. But it, I don't know. This is, like, the first car that I bought that was, like, nicer. And it was still used. It was, like, a 2015. I bought it in, like, 2017 or something like that. So it wasn't, like, brand new. But it was the first time I ever purchased a luxury car for myself. And I was like, all right. And now I'm already over it. I kind of want to go back to, like, <laughs> a bigger car. Like, I don't, it doesn't matter anymore. It was, like, my one time of doing it. I'm good. I experienced it. Don't I feel really like that's care. how I felt about... Because after I got my car accident, I drove my brother's, like, really tiny... I don't remember what it was called because I'm really not great with cars, but it was like a little two door, like sports car. Mm. And after I had that, I was like, yeah, no, I like want a big car. And, and yep. that's when I got my Jeep, I think. Or no, I think I still got a Jetta after that. And then after that, I got my Jeep. And another thing about having a nice car is like you have to worry about it getting damaged. Like I, my Jeep, <laughs> my friend literally backed it front into a pole and then back into a wall, like trying to park it by the beach. Like I wasn't mad because it was kind of funny. But like I didn't care because it was an 05 Jeep. Like who cares? I mean, granted, you want to take care of your things, but like if it happened with this car, I'd be a little more like, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be expensive. It's pricier when you have a more, a more luxurious car. Mm -hmm. Those parts so, are a lot. You have to worry expensive. about it a little more. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like it's just it's wild. That's crazy. So don't recommend at like a younger stage in your life. You don't you don't need it. You don't need the luxury car yet. Unless you, unless it's really in your budget, <laughs> yeah. Then yeah, <laughs> go for it. Let's see. Have you ever had a crush on the same person? <laughs> we have such. We have tastes. so like our types are mm -hmm. so so different. Like I don't really? know. I yeah. 
I don't have the same type as any of my friends. Thank God, because like it just has never been an issue. I mean, I don't think it would be an issue anyway, because it's like, I don't know. I think I've only had Girl that code. issue maybe like twice in my life, but. That's a, a podcast topic. <laughs> we'll dive into that another time. Mm -hmm. And that is a podcast um, episode right there in itself. Yeah. Thankfully, her and I do not have the same type, so no. like, we would never have to worry about that. Also, I'm like not single, so it literally doesn't matter, yeah. <laughs> like at all. Let's see. <laughs> this one gets a little spicier, but hmm. how many boys have been over? For me, only one. <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie, only one. <laughs> And then I think that's all that we're gonna we're gonna say. Baby has Next Bentley, question. so Bentley's always over. <laughs> Bentley is always here. Um, we have all of our guy friends come over, so that I mean, there's a couple guys right there. That's like a whole group of like six guys. So yeah, yeah. We do know. have many boyfriends, but like boys that are friends. To clarify. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I think there's this is almost at ten minutes, so we're gonna wrap it up. There's one question that I have gotten from the same person like over and over and over and over again, even though I have done like a video specifically kind of on this, well, sort of. It's future tattoo plans, so I feel like I should just answer it since he keeps asking. Um, my future tattoo plans, I'm considering an, a, another sleeve and then a leg sleeve. Am I gonna pull the trigger on it? I don't know. I probably would do a leg sleeve before I would do another arm sleeve, since I already have one and I don't know. Anything's possible. We'll see. Do you have any future tattoo plans? Excuse me. Um, I don't think so. I mean, eventually I'll probably get more, but I don't have any like no. I get like a random itch here and there, and then I just do it. I pull the trigger. There's not a lot that I think about for. I mean, I guess like I kind of think about the idea for a while, but like I'm never like, oh my god, I need to do it. As soon as I'm like, I want to do it, I just do it. I look like I've gotten a tattoo <laughs> since. 2019? I don't, so, I don't know. It's been a while. I don't think there's been a recent year where I haven't gotten a tattoo. <laughs> or at least like worked on a piece or something like that. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure I will get plenty more since I'm already pretty done up. <laughs> but I think that is all that we have time for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to both of our channel channel ugh, channels. <laughs> I'm going to link hers below. And then if you guys want to check out our previous Q&A, if you guys didn't see that, I will link That's those for you one. as well. That we get into a little bit more of like the boy stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.